Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the rules for image formation in uh, curved mirrors that is concave and convex mirrors. Here we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 concave mirrors and 1, 2, 3 and 4 convex mirrors as well. There are 4 rules for making an image. Uh, the first rule states that and uh, maybe I should also tell you that these rules need not to be mugged up, we can easily understand them. So the first rule states that if any ray, if any incident ray, if it is parallel to the principal axis like this, so here there is an incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis, after reflection it passes through focus. Now why does it pass through focus? It is because as explained in the previous uh, uh, videos as well that this is the point of incidence and a very small section of the curved mirror behaves as a plane mirror. So this is a plane mirror and we have also discussed that from this point the normal always passes through C. So here is the normal, the point of incidence. You need not to draw the entire normal but uh, if you extend them. If you extend this normal, it will pass through C. This is your normal because if you extend this normal, it will pass through the center of curvature. This is your angle of incidence. You can easily measure this angle with the help of protractor. Now the reflected ray is on the other side of the normal at the same angle. So if you try to draw this angle somewhere over here, you will see that from here that the reflected ray is also passing from focus only. So by using this principle that i is equal to r and by actual drawing of normal you can easily prove that the reflected ray passes through focus. This rule is also true for convex mirror as well. Now for convex mirror the c and f are on non-reflecting side. So we will have to take the incident ray from this side. So let us take that let us make an incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis like this. So this is our incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis and from here I need to make the normal and normal always passes through C. So I have to actually join C and make the normal like this. So this C if I, this normal if I extend it, it will pass through C. You can see that this is the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection would be on this side. So at this exactly the same angle on this side, there will be reflected ray. And if you construct it, you will see that it goes like this. And if, I, and if you extend this, you will get the focus. So if incident ray is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will it will bounce in such a way that if you extend it you will get the focus and over here if an incident ray is parallel after reflection it will pass through focus. So by using simple rules of the reflection we have seen the first ray diagram. I mean we have studied the first rule for making the image formation. Any ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through the focus or appears to be passing through focus. Let us study the next rule and these sets of rule are common for uh, the convex as well as the concave mirror both. The second rule states that if a ray passes through the focus like this, so this is the ray, this is my incident ray and over here a ray comes like this and if I extend this it appears to be passing through focus. Now the rule says that states that after reflection it will become the reflected ray will become parallel to the principal axis and here also the reflected ray would become parallel to the principal axis. Again we can understand this, this is the point of incidence, this is the point of incidence from here if I draw the normal then the normal would pass from C so like this and this is a very small angle of incidence so at the same angle just above there will be 
the reflected ray and you can see that the reflected ray is now parallel to the principal axis over here this is c this is point of incidence so the normal would be passing through the c so i can join this and this is my normal if i extend my normal it will pass through c again this is an angle of incidence at a very small angle at the exactly the same angle from here i will get my reflected ray so we can see that the ray after reflection becomes parallel the third rule states that if any ray passes from c it actually bounces back in the same direction now here also we can understand this with the help of the normal so let us pass a ray from c so this is the ray which passes from c this is the point of incidence and again from here if i draw the normal we can see that the normal is coinciding with our incident ray so the angle of incidence is 0 degree so the angle of reflection should also be 0 degree so that the reflected ray should also be on the should be also coinciding with the normal so the reflected ray is again like this same you can also prove it over here all as well this is c so say that this is a incident ray and if i extend this it passes through c from this point if i try to draw, draw the normal the normal is also the incident ray coinciding on the incident ray and here also angle of incidence is zero so r is also zero so the reflected ray is again coinciding on the normal so if a ray passes through c it has to again go back in the same direction now the final rule the final rule states that if any ray hits the pole like this so if this ray hits the pole then from this point this is center of curvature then this principal axis will behave as the normal and this is the angle of incidence at the same angle on the other side i should get the reflected ray and this is my reflected ray and these two angles are same same application for the convex mirror this is center of curvature this is f this is pole so if any ray hits the pole directly like this like this then this is the point of incidence and this principal axis itself is normal because normal passes from c this is the angle of incidence at the same angle over here the ray would go down these two angles are same so all four rules are now clear with us the first rule states that if any incident ray if it is parallel to the principal axis after reflection after reflection it will pass through focus or it will it will pass in such a way that if you extend that you will get focus second rule is basically the uh, reversibility of the first rule that means if you just invert the arrows you will get the second rule second rule states that if any ray passes through focus after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis if any ray if it appears to be passing through focus because the ray cannot go inside the mirror and after reflection it will become parallel to the principal axis third rule states that if any ray passes from c it bounces back in the same direction it is due to the normal incident ray and reflected ray are one on the other so angle of incidence is zero as well as the reflection is also zero and over here if the incident ray again the same rule for convex mirror if it passes if it falls on the mirror in such a way that if you extend it it goes through c then angle of then the normal would be again coinciding and the angle of reflection and incident both are zero the fourth rule states that if angle sorry if the incident ray directly falls on the pole whether it is of concave mirror or convex mirror the normal itself is the principal axis the normal itself is principal axis and after reflection the ray would be on the other side of the normal going like this for image formation there are two rays that are uh, required and you can select any of these two rules for making the image formation 